This is clay dug out of the ground. It's very earthy. It roots me. The fact that my hands, with their knowledge and their learning, can transform a piece of earth into something that is beautiful, tactile, that really excites me. And I think that's what motivates me daily to work with it. One of my other first passions, actually, was photography. And quite often there's a documentary element to my life. I was well known for always having a camera in my hand and I would document the photographs I took so they were all organised and written about. Doing a degree as a mature student, I was just so excited by the new processes that were introduced to me, doing ceramics and printmaking. I could use printmaking techniques that I had studied previously, like lino cutting and screen printing, and enable me to put photography straight into clay. That was a really exciting introduction. Screen printing does it for me in no other way. I don't want to use transfers, which is sticking an image onto the surface of clay. The screen printing is another lovely hands-on process, and every time I print an image, even if it's a repeated image, I feel the magic of that image going onto the clay. It's printed onto clay using ceramic screen printing medium mixed with underglaze colour. It has to be handled very delicately. This is the difficult side of it. It can be knocked. It can be smudged very easily during the printing as well. I've learnt the process myself of putting the images onto the screen, so I'm more in control of changing those images when I want to. So I'm constantly looking for strong black and white images. I'm developing a theme around Shropshire, so the images of the trees and the hills are going to keep me occupied for years to come, I think. With clay, you can manipulate it, you can change it, you can stretch the clay and alter the image. You can wipe bits of way, you can add bits, so I, there is manipulation that I do. And then the image changes as the clay is formed into different shapes. Porcelain is a difficult clay to work with and hand building and, and forming bowls with it is quite challenging. It tests me all the time and it can warp and do its own thing. It has to be handled incredibly carefully. All clay has a memory. But porcelain in particular, if you get any sort of warpage or fold into it, it will try and return to that original position in the firing. So it does have to be handled with great care. There's something aesthetically very pleasing to me in a zen-like quality, a round bowl, black and white image, very tactile. So I still try and pursue that perfectionism. I know the excitement will come when all the bowls are made and I'll be left with these offcuts. I never put any clay in a bin. For example, it's all reused. When I cut away the rim of a bowl, I had these very interesting little strips of print. I thought these could make really lovely earrings. There's something about composing new images and new pieces of work from tiny little scraps. It is a fun side to me. It's almost like a gift at the end of the day of making the bowls. I love being in my studio, I love the peace and the quiet and just me in the clay. It's particularly lovely when the sun's shining in the garden on certain plants that just brings light into this studio space. There's less alchemy in my work. I put it into the kiln and if it's fired well it comes out the same as it went in. The only thing that fixes it and the only time it's, it's safe is it's fixed by fire in the same way that photography is fixed by light, so there is this lovely fixing. Getting work out of the kiln and polishing it up and seeing it ready for an exhibition and think, wow, that I've made all that in the last week or month. That, that is very satisfying.